I'm very excited. Because aside from this, I really don't have a trade that I could go out and seek employment in. You have to be at a point in your life where you're like, okay, what am I doing? Where am I going? Our goal is an entry-level position in HVAC. By us being incarcerated, our success rate from statistically, they say, is low. But you have to put something in your back pocket to where you can beat those odds. It's a very diverse industry. You can go to work as a plumber. You've got the background. You could go to work as an electrician. Hopefully, they'll go into the HVAC industry. You have to pretty much get really involved and know what you're doing. You guys are at 247 volts. Every day we run classroom. Every day we've got projects, usually at three or four different levels. I was able to accomplish my EPA 608 license. You need that 608 license in order to work on a unit. I used to work on motorhomes and automotive air conditioning on the outside. The more I know about it, the better off I'll be when I go to look for a job. EDD is still saying the HVAC industry is the number one industry in the United States through the year 2018. I want to be able to get a job in HVAC and make those prevailing wages and be able to live a comfortable life. Even entry level is high. Journeyman HVAC workers should be looking at salaries at $80,000 to $100,000 a year. I've come to a certain position in my life where I want to have nice things. I'm learning ways on how do I do this so that I can obtain certain things in life. I have a 15-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old daughter who I'm going to be able to support financially when I get out there and give them a better life, be a, a role model for them, be the father that I haven't been able to be for them. Every one of these guys that hits the street and stays out, it's saving us thousands of dollars. Uh, and the statistics show that these programs do work. We don't want to see them again. I don't know where you're going.